in Port Aransas. They call them the twin sisters, and they don't say it with much affection. I'm talking about a couple of huge drilling rigs that have dominated the skyline on Harbor Island for years. But now those rigs are about to be moved. Island Moon newspaper publisher Dale Rankin has this story in this week's Island Report. If you've gone across the Port Aransas ferries in the last few years, you couldn't help but notice the large drilling rigs stored there. That's about to change. So this week, we're going in for a closer look. The first thing you notice about these things is that everything about them is big. Even the mooring units are big. Even the largest ferry boats pale in comparison. The water line here shows that most of the substructure is underwater when they're deployed. Here at Harbor Island, where they've been for almost five years, they sit on the bottom in 35 feet of water. Their fate uncertain until now. So they just store them here till they decide what to do with them. Correct. So we're anticipating the possibility of them going back to work, but they've decided that they're too out of date now to, to uh, refurbish. A decision has been made to remove them. One is already gone, and these two are headed to Turkey to be cut up for scrap. The next question, how do they get them out of here? What's the process? Uh, they pull on them with several tugboats and try to apply 30, 40,000 horsepower to get them moving. Then they'll go out into the middle of the ship channel and where they're held until the uh, to the final tugboat. So sometime over the next few months, one or both of these Goliaths will be moved out. And so far, at least, nothing is scheduled to take their place. For 3 News and the Island Moon newspaper, I'm Dale Rankin, and we'll see you on the island.